one of the last things I'm working on is trying to figure out how to mount the wind gen. Uh, we can't weld aluminum to stainless, so um, we are, Ricky found this for me. It's two inches a little bigger, but I'm gonna see if it fits now. Our old wind gen pole was made out of aluminum, which can't be reused with our stainless steel arch. But thankfully, our welder, Ricky, happened to have a stainless pole that should work as its replacement. I think it'll fit. Um, it's a pretty big receptacle. These are some rubber bushings that supposedly help with the noise. Other thing, you know, when it vibrates in the wind. We are in the midst of building a new arch for our 36 foot sailboat. And we're getting to the stage where we can begin to think about next steps now that most of the structure has been welded. We fit our three new solar panels from Sun Powered Yachts earlier today with the help of some friends. And now Ricky, our welder, can work on mounting the panels to the structure permanently since we're happy with their position. We're thrilled with how the arch is progressing. The size, shape, and strength is exactly what we hoped for. And now that we've added the solar panels, we can really see the finish line. Thank you so much, Ricky. Thank you, gracias. We'll see you Monday, Lunes. We want to temporarily secure the solar panels so the wind doesn't blow them away and we don't oh, have to yeah. be on deck. Until he welds them. Well, so he welds them one, two, three, four. So we have like, we're starting to get this secured. We're just not perfectly there yet. Yeah. So Ricky's left for the day. He's coming back Monday. Yeah. Um, yeah. so the, it's like a, a it's like a temporary, God, yeah. God forbid it gets really windy. We're going to wind up putting mounts here, you know. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah, like, no one's ever really done that before. That was, that was uh, <coughs> Mexican ingenuity, you know? Because they, well, tried to, they tried to button, that didn't work, and then we just kind of kept going. Wait, what's Mexican ingenuity? Like, we just, we just dremeled holes in our solar panel up here. Oh. Like, that, I, they tried buttons, and I was like, nah, it's not strong enough, and they came back. I'll like try this. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so in celebration of the arch being in such a good place, meaning it's it's pretty close to being there. done, yeah. right? We're pretty close. I mean, we're pretty close. A couple more. We're wells. going to take a break for lunch, and I think we're gonna go eat on the beach. Okay, Taco time. We had a productive time. day of, I don't even know what we did today. Tied down some solar panels. <laughs> Gorgeous. You can see the shrimp boat out there. Shrimping. The sailboat. There's a sailboat way out there, yeah. It looks so nice out there. I wish you could just anchor and go sailing. <laughs> it's so close, but so far away. <laughs> I love to put our kite up and it's like. Yeah. Salute. Salute. It is Saturday. It is Saturday. Yeah. We have a I think he had said, uh... That runner's really the biggest issue. We can knock him out of one of them. Like, you know, bigger. Taco. Taco. I got a shrimp taco. Very good. Get that bite shot. Mm. Oh, wrong. Um, so today we're going to continue barrier coating the hull. It's been probably 10 to 14 days since we did the last coat and I uh, went on the Total Boat like tech support site for the Total Protect and um, you have up to 60 days without sanding it, but I'm going to go ahead and just scuff it with these Brillo, Brillo pads or scotch brake pads, I'm not sure what they are. Um, total Boat gave they're total us, boat gave but they have us. like a rough, rough edge. Um, Rough, but not crazy. And I'm gonna do that because I don't need to sand it, but there could be some of that like that blushing, that like slippery stuff that uh, epoxy off puts, and it's probably pretty dusty because it's been sitting in the boatyard. It's been pretty windy. That's why we haven't done barrier coat. So dusty in this boatyard. So yeah, so we're wild. just gonna get the hull so we get a good adhesion surface for the next next two or three rounds of barrier coat. So um, what's the order of operations? 
So we're gonna clean up, clean the hull, let it dry, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna wipe it down with acetone. Okay. And then we're gonna mix the paint, and then we have to wait for 15 minutes for it to kick off, then put the thinner, and then start applying. And then we, the test for between layers, the overcoat, it's best if you could do them, it's called like hot coating, like while it's still tacky, so you stick your thumb on, if it leaves a thumb print, but no epoxy comes off on your thumb, it's ready for the next coat of, of barrier coat. So we're just gonna keep applying that through the day, and uh, yeah, then we should be done at that part, and yeah, we'll be like, ready for bottom paint. We have to right. do one more level, one more layer of barrier coat right before we put on uh, bottom paint, so they stick together, like chemically. But that'll be when it boats closer to launch. Yeah, so it's, that's a big day. We're pumped. Yep. <laughs> Wow. You're probably just touching like five blisters, you can't feel it at all. Yeah. And then you can see all that green, mm -hmm. that's all the filling. Like, so see all those little dots, that's all the lead pits that we had. So we're just going over the hull with a little bit of sandpaper by hand. There were some incidences where the pink of the foam roller kind of stuck the paint. So before we apply more, we're just trying to get rid of all that. And that's what Grace is looking for right now. See right here, this little pink stuff? That's from the roller. So I'm just taking the sandpaper. Getting rid of it. And this one's quite big. I'm trying to go like in every different direction. And that's almost... Almost gone. Yep, <clears throat> much better. Sounds simple, gluing in a bushing, but of course- A rudder bushing. A rudder bushing, yeah, so I guess just back up. This is a sleeve that allows our rudder shaft to slide. It's like a smooth, some sort of plastic polymer that Sabre gave us, it's slippery in the shaft. It, it holds the shaft and lets it spin freely. Um, ideally, this would be pretty simple, you just stick it, glue it up and go, but um, you just have to always have to think ahead and tape the inside here, because when we shove it up, the sealant is gonna overfill here, and it's gonna squeeze out, and it's gonna squeeze out here at the bottom. So we're gonna get some tape in here, because we cannot have glue in here uh, messing with the rudder shaft surface. So basically, in summary, the entire outside of this thing has to be coated in 5200, because we wanna stick it. We don't want it to move at but all. It, we don't want it to move at all, but it can't have anything on the inside. I'm the only person that can like fit my hand in this. Yeah, like I cannot, thing, I can't go so. past that. Okay, so what we're thinking about doing is putting uh, blue tape, like, you know, two inches in here, if a little tag that Grace could reach, so that any, any 5200 that goes on the inside of this bushing, we could then remove the tape and it's clean. Uh, and then that's I our theory, at least. Out, I can clean out the rest. Yeah, while it's wet. If it dries, then we're in trouble. Sorry, we have to clean it out and acetone this yep. hole. Before this is where it's inserting. Obviously fully in, it does get pretty stuck, so. Let's go. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay, so I am taping the bushing now so that we don't have that 5200 leakage problem. Yeah, on the inside. It's only Grace's hands can fit in there, I can't fit mine. That's good because you grab that to pull, like you need a little tab, right? Hold it over. That's good. Uh... <laughs> what the shit? Uh-oh. Did it glue itself? Did it glue itself? What the shit? Did it split the back? So classic. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. <laughs> I just want to use my cock gun. <laughs> what the shit? Do you have any extra caulk no, guns? No, this is why everything takes forever, bro. <laughs> this is a really nice caulk gun. I guess it split when I last used it. You'll be hearing the word 5200 a lot this episode, so I thought it'd be a good time to explain exactly what this stuff is. 200? That didn't work. 5200 is an extremely tenacious marine sealant from 3M. Most often you'll hear sailors cursing previous owners for inappropriate usage. This stuff is permanent. I mean like take a sledgehammer to a permanent. There are a few different 3M sealants for different uses. 4200 and 4000 UV are good, strong sealants, but considered to be removable. 5200 is permanent. In our case, I feel best using 5200 on these below the waterline through holes, as I have no intention of removal in the near future. That tiny... Yeah, that stuff is, that yeah. little bit of white is what was 
holding it in. Yeah. Zoom the 5200 position. Oh God. <laughs> I hate this shit. Okay. What am I doing? Got this, babe. Full confidence. Like a kindergartner painting. Ready? Okay. You got it? Got the honors here. Shove it in the hole. Shove it in the hole. I oh my god, we're making a big mess. Rudder bushing going in the hole. It does that want to go? <laughs> oh shit. I think that means we use the right amount. Thing's not going anywhere. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. At least it better not. I mean, you can barely spin it. It's hard enough to fit in there if I 200. If the stuff seals, yeah. like, I just love it's over. That. It's like what men always say. <laughs> when I ever rest strap, this thing ain't going anywhere. Yeah. And it's often And then my whole, whole dab, it's moving and cracking. Now, if this is I have to go somewhere, I'll be very upset. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this so new, the new arch we built, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, dude, if the rudder goes anywhere, I'll be, I'll be very <laughs> upset too. Yeah. <laughs> so Bill's gonna go up and see if he can get some of the goop out from that end. Watch your hair and stuff. We got a slight amount of 5200 in there. Thank God for little hands. Yeah. You're doing pretty good. Like, see this ledge right here? Yep. I've been sticking my fingers in it. For, just for some reference here, this piece right here, this brass, that's our stuffing box. And that ring is where the stuffing box uh, packing would go. Um, so where does gluing, there's water obviously up to the stuffing box to lubricate the, the bushing down there. Um, what we're trying to do is make sure that we don't have any 5200 that's gonna be rubbing on the shaft of the rudder because that would obviously cause friction, so. Grace is cleaning it up really well right there. Um, we were about to fit the 200 in these through holes, uh, but when I acetone it, you can now see there's a wooden core here that I have to deal with. I can't just, in good faith, just glue this. So here's the wood. As opposed to this as solid glass. As opposed to this one. So we could glue this one, but we can't glue that one. Right. So this metal through hole is for our forward scan. Um, and you can see there's a sealant ring in here. This is what goes on the outside of the hull. This is where the sealant resides. Um, we're going to go throw this down to Demetrius and mark where, with our Sharpie, where it comes through the hull. So I know where to put the sealant up into. The most important seal is really right here against the hull, but I want to have some in here. And I don't want my washer to be 5200, so I want to be able to remove it in the future. Um, so we're going to throw this down to him, mark it, glue it, and then at the same time, I built a backing plate here. So this needs to be glued. So this will, this will take the load. If we ever hit anything, this will help. Uh, I'm shock. The shock load will crack the fiberglass. This will help distribute the weight, the, the shear load. So we're going to glue this in the same time, 1500, because it's kind of uneven surface. That looks good to me. All right, <clears throat> you can pull it out, Demetrius. Say it again? Pull, you can pull it out. Okay, it's got some goop in here. Seal, seal and ring. So I'm putting in the seal and drink first. That's really, I think, what keeps the water from coming in. Uh, where's my black line? So I'll go up to here. Okay. That's probably good enough. Take the pressure off. Okay. Let me try to get a little bit. I went a little over the line somewhere. I guess we'll get it later. Okay, you got it? Squeeze it. So I have to hold this while Bill's up there tightening. Kind of again. Make sure it doesn't twist. No, I'm still. I'm getting 5200 in there. Am I biting yet? All right, the major's probably good. Okay, 
I see a thin spot over here. Kind of like on this side now, for Grace is getting full on anal here. <laughs> About the bottom of our keel, which is good because I don't have the attention in the detail for this. Yeah, it might be hard. It might be good to thicken up there because maybe I, the rollers. Yeah. I kind of see like one spot here. At least I see green at the bottom of, on the center of the wood block too. So this is kind of a different one. We're adding a little bit of barrier coat into our through holes uh, with the hope that we could put some bottom paint in there and discourage particle growth. So Grace is just going ahead and getting some paint in there. The small one's hard. Um, Let's move it out. I've never really, I don't, I've never done this before, but it makes sense to me to get some poison in there. We do grow. There's a lot of growth in the through holes, and maybe I'll prevent it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get her to stop. You want to get the strut, maybe? I keep finding more, yeah. more areas. I mean, all this stuff. Like with the rudder in place, we couldn't do the barrier coat here, so the rudder has to be up for this painting. Okay. Um, I'm coming over there. Yeah. I can see something here. There's these tiny boys. You get it? Yep. You got a little bit of paint on yourself, I guess you don't care. Where? Your leggings, your total boat rash guard. That's a hole. Still going. Can't get her to stop. But she'll run out of paint soon enough. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs>